Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. After more than a century, a Hutchinson paper plant shutting its doors. Sunoco shocking employees yesterday when it handed them their layoff notices. KSN's Mally Jones in Hutchinson today as city leaders try to help more than 100 people find new jobs. Everyone I spoke with says this news came as a huge shock yesterday. The city and other organizations are trying to get a hold of the corporate office to figure out some answers. This closure comes with immediate layoffs for over 100 employees. As of Friday, they had predictable employment, and as of Monday, they don't know what their future is going to be like, and that's a little bit of a shock for our community. Tekian says the war notice came to the Workforce Center Monday. This particular case, they are not they did not afford them the 60 days <clears throat> they will from what i'm understanding they will pay them for the 60 days which which uh fulfills their obligation under warren as the employer mayor john richardson and the hutchinson chamber president deborah tufel say this is a setback for the city because it's a large employer and it's been there for over a century tufel says their priority right now is to get the sunoco employees a new career job number one would be that we hopefully can find them jobs right here in hutchinson and the good news is right now on that job seeker guide there are over 50 companies that are actively seeking to hire and so i don't think they're going to have a hard time finding a job right here in hutchinson in Reno County. The mayor says right now they are still trying to get over the initial shock of the news, but they're figuring out what's next. Is there a chance for this facility to open back up? And if not, what are the plans for the facility? Mm -hmm. And then try to get some answers from Sunoco Corporate in regards to was it purely economic or what other factors may have been involved that we could have had some impact on as a city? We contacted the Sunoco headquarters and the local plant here in Hutchinson, but they wouldn't comment. We have resources for job seekers linked on KSN.com. Here for you in Hutchinson, Mally Jones, KSN News 3.